expect for him in the not too distant future. Uh, we have been following you here and we want to congratulate you on your season and break the hegemony of more than 10 years of Bayern Munich. Real Madrid will always be your home and soon our paths will meet again, the president of the entity expressed to him. Madridista to the coach. If Bayer Leverkusen wins the next Bundesliga match day at home against Werder Bremen, it will win the title for the first time in its history, something that speaks of the great work done by Zabi Alonso and his coaching staff as well as the magnitude of this feat. Cruz aims to continue at Real Madrid for another year, however, he has put a condition on the table to sign his renewal right now. Real Madrid has several renovations to face this summer. Cruz, Modric, Nacho and Lucas Vasquez will be free agents starting June 30, and it has not yet been officially confirmed if they will continue or if, on the contrary, their time with the white team will end. In the case of the German, the fact that he returns to the national team with his sights set on playing in the European Championship this summer seemed to add more doubts. He is going to add minutes to his legs, and taking into account that he is a veteran player, everything indicated that he was going to retire. But the good level he has shown throughout the season, earning the starting spot despite having started on the bench, has convinced everyone. Ancelotti, Florentino and everyone at the club are willing to continue counting on the German. The condition to sign now. Cruz is also willing to continue, but has put a condition on the table for it to be carried out. And he has expressed that, I want to be important, to play and not go below the 35 to 40 games a year that he has been playing regularly. Tony does not want to renew and find himself on the bench all year in the way that is happening to Modric, who is being a shock. Retirement is on the German midfielder's mind if he is not going to have such a presence in the team. The second half of the season has brought great news to Real Madrid. Arda Guller has rejoined the Merengue sports discipline and is leaving small samples of the talent she has in her boots. The positive surprise of the second half of this season is, without a doubt, Arda Guller. The few minutes that the young Turkish midfielder has played have been of quality, showing signs of what he is capable of doing if he has the necessary continuity. His goal against Celta and the crossbar during the visit to El Sadar have consolidated him among his teammates. It was precisely Guller's appearance on Real Madrid's scoring table that was the moment that the footballers in the white locker room took advantage of to create a nickname specifically for him. After analyzing the win against Celta Vigo, Antonio Rudiger gave him a nickname that has become the norm, the German 22-foot nicknamed him Gabi eh? This word, of Turkish origin, can be translated as a little brother. It is not surprising that his ideologue was Rudiger, since the merengue defender knows some customs and cultural forms of Arda Guller's native country. Since then, Real Madrid's 24 has been the little brother of the Madrid dressing room. His progress has also occurred on a professional level. Upline Supported by the entire locker room, Arda Guller has begun the path to have the same physical level as the rest of his teammates, that was his big problem when he arrived at Real Madrid. His inadequacy to the level requested by Antonio Pintus for the preseason tests caused a chain of injuries that have kept him off the playing fields. Fortunately, that bad streak is definitely behind us. His physical evolution, added to the small progress he has made on the playing fields, leaves a somewhat more hopeful outlook for next season despite the arrival of Endrick and the possible signing of Kylian Mbappe, Carlo Ancelotti will have to have him into account to build lineups when rotations become necessary. Given the interest that Euro is arousing in France, Lille's top leader, Olivier Letang, has spoken out and does not rule out being able to retain his player if the team plays in the Champions League next season. The rumor floats in the air and no one can dispute it. Real Madrid is preparing a PlayStation team for next year, with Kylian Mbappe in the foreground, followed by other footballers such as Vinicius, Bellingham, Rodrigo and Brahim and the consolidated, such as Cruz and Carvajal. Lenny Euro could join those mentioned. The negotiations for Euro were intensified by Real Madrid when, during this season, injuries occurred to Milieu and Alaba, with whom, predictably, they were going to be out for the entire season. The Brazilian footballer has made a sprint and already had a few minutes in Real Madrid's last match against Athletic at the Bernabeu 2-0 before hosting Manchester City this coming Tuesday in the first leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Euro, 18 years old and in the ranks of Lille, is a young central defender whose steps this season are being followed by several big European clubs. With majestic physical qualities, the Frenchman has Jorge Mendez as his representative, an old acquaintance from the Concha Espina offices, and he would have already communicated his desire to end up wearing the white shirt. Given the offers made by PSG and City, Euro prioritized Real Madrid. However, Lille does not seem to have it so clear and would be asking for an amount close to 100 million euros. 
But not only, the club's president, Olivier Latang, has recently referred to a possible departure of his still player. I spoke with Lenny and he is focused on one thing, finishing as high as possible with the team. A renewal? This is part of our conversations. If we play in the Champions League next season, maybe yes. For Latang, Lille reaching the top continental competition, an objective they are competing with Monaco, with the latter having an advantage, is a situation that would change things a lot. I am very sincere, it will not be the same if we play in the European Cup. Now we are focused on this goal and everyone, including Lenny, wants to achieve it. Yoro is a footballer whose resemblance to Verani is palpable and Zidane, who already recommended the signing of the current United player, would have done the same with his Lille compatriot after listening to Florentino Perez. Real Madrid has high hopes for the rest of the season. From the Valdebiba's offices they are not only aware of the performance of the locker room, but also of the money generated by their performances. There is less and less left for Real Madrid's great challenge, eliminating Manchester City. The quarterfinals of this edition of the Champions League are the most complicated sporting commitment that Carlo Ancelotti's pupils have ahead of them, for now. However, from the Valdebiba's offices they expect maximum performance. The Reggiolo coach has guided the physical and tactical preparation in that sense. Eliminating the Sky Blue team would be a magnificent coup for Real Madrid for several reasons. The first is, without a doubt, the future of the Champions League itself, it would get rid of one of its great rivals by reaching the final at Wembley. It would also be an important morale boost for the most important matches in the league, the title could be practically sealed with victory in the Clasico on April 21. The importance of the playoffs in the merengue entity goes beyond the sporting aspect, the money at stake also has a lot of influence. The executives led by Florentino Perez make their forecasts based on an acceptable result in the top European competition, which has been achieved this season. All that unforeseen money would be applied to the most urgent operations in the Valdebiba's offices. There are plenty of reasons. If Real Madrid manages to eliminate Manchester City in the quarterfinals, UEFA would make an income of 12.5 million euros into the coffers of the Santiago Bernabeu. That money would probably be used to cover the expenses of the summer transfer market. The signings of Kylian Mbappe and Alfonso Davies will entail a great drain on the Madrid treasury. With those 12.5 million paid by UEFA as a prize, Real Madrid could begin to pay for the signing of Alfonso Davies. The latest reports on his signing placed the transfer requested by Bayern Munich at 70 million euros, but Madrid negotiators believe they could lower this figure to 50 million. Be that as it may, success in the quarterfinals will be a relief and good news for everyone at the White Club. Erling Haaland broke his scoring drought three days before Manchester City faces Real Madrid. The citizens are in full dispute for the Premier, along with Liverpool and Arsenal. All eyes are on next Tuesday's momentous match between Real Madrid and Manchester City. The first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals will be played at a Santiago Bernabeu whose southern end, in the last league match against Athletic Club, demanded that they wear white to show firm support for Pep Guardiola's men. While Real Madrid has not had a league game this week due to the cup final between Athletic and Mallorca, City has played two games in the Premier League. On the one hand, they played this Wednesday against Unai Emery's Aston Villa at the Etihad, 4-1, and this Saturday they visited the Crystal Palace Stadium, 2-4, where the protagonist was Erling Haaland. Tihi Norwegian striker, who scored the last goal for the Citizens, has broken a month-long drought without scoring a goal. Up to six games in a row he chained Guardiola's nine, with whom he has not had a good relationship lately, according to the information offered that is brewing in England. The striker has been discussed by the fans, something strange after the numbers he has put together, with the goal against Palace, he has scored 30 goals in 36 games. Holland's last goal before this match was on March 6 against Copenhagen in the Champions League. Later, City played against Liverpool, Arsenal and Aston Villa, this game was not played by the Norwegian, in the Premier, against Newcastle in the FA Cup and, with their national team, they faced the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Now, he has broken this bad streak and the Norwegian has not hesitated to send a serious warning to Real Madrid ahead of next Tuesday's match. A important victory away from home. The support of our fans is incredible, as always, he published on the ex-social network. Real Madrid is the history that its players create. One of the last to leave the merengue discipline does not seem to be very comfortable in his new team and could regret this change. The board of directors led by Florentino Perez has received some surprising statements from a notorious former player. 
His change of team seemed to be the best option for the footballer himself, but time has shown that Real Madrid knows how to live even without one of its most recent legends. However, the statements of this former white footballer in an interview have served to remind us of the circumstances surrounding his departure last summer. I am not the same Benzema from Real Madrid because it is not the same game, the same players. The testimony that Karim Benzema left in his talk with Ashark Al-Assad takes him back to his time at the Merengue Club. Benzema suggests that he misses his time at the White Club. It was he who decided to put an end to that stage, cancelling his automatic renewal in the summer of 2023 for having won the Ballon d'Or just eight months ago. Ah, for me the most important thing is here, in Saudi Arabia, at the moment, we will see what happens in the future. Every day there are many new things. Let's see. Look ahead. These words are the result of the bad moment he has experienced to date as an al player. Although his arrival in Saudi Arabia offered him the perfect opportunity to end his career with great sensations, it is the opposite, his turbulent relationship with Marcelo Gallardo, coach of the black and yellow team, does not help either. The Karim Benzema who dazzled all of Europe wearing the white jersey has left and will not return. The French-Algerian striker's stay in the Saudi Pro League seems to have reduced his desire to play football, putting his future in the air and closing the doors of Real Madrid to him. He knows that he cannot return no matter how good a personal relationship he has with Florentino Perez, his moment has passed.